Hello everyone, and welcome to episode two of Ghost Talk. I'm joined by Michael. Hello. And Kurt. Hello. And Jordan can't be with us today, but he'll surely be on the next one, as we'll be closer to um, the Draco Tunnels uh, investigation there with... From Dustal Dawn events, I nearly said the other That's one. It. I said the other one. Who's <laughs> in the film? <coughs> yeah, Dustal Dawn, yeah, good film. <laughs> Uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about an aspect of the paranormal and, and of the occult in a way, and that is of exorcism and possession. And uh, we've done our research on this, all three of us. And it's going to be a very interesting talk, I think, because there's lots of cases throughout history of, I'm going to say, supposed possessions, because there's a lot of aspects at play here um, that could not be paranormal related at all. So, who wants to start on this then? Uh, like Hurtwood, he's the one that we've been watching him. Um, probably the most famous one is the case in America. I can't remember where, but... It was in, um, I think it was Maryland. Yeah. The one about the, the Emily Rose. The house is still there today. Uh, no, it's the one, that, the one that the film was based on. Roland, Roland Doe. Oh, they yeah. Used it in Roland Doe, yeah. yeah. And, well, it's just interesting isn't it, how the boy supposedly... Uh, Played with a, a Ouija board, is with that his what aunt. You say? Yeah. With his aunt. Yeah. And they got a couple of answers coming through, didn't they? I think the last one was um, they used hun- un- human or demon Some coming like through. That. Yeah. And basically, a couple of days after that, they had to call, uh, what's his name, the priest? Again. Father Raymond Bishop. Yeah, yeah, Father Raymond Bishop to perform an exorcism where. Did they actually tie the boy to the bed? They had to tie him to the bed because he was being very violent and apparently he did rip the bed, one of the bed springs out and attempt to slash the, at the at one of the, the priests and, present. And we say supposedly, but at one point the bed was levitating, yeah, they say. Yeah, we say, and uh, objects were being thrown uh, via telekinesis, that yeah. kind of thing. <clears throat> um, some other things they say about it is that there were 48 people present who witnessed it. But there's that been house v- is very small. <laughs> Yeah, how are they going to cram 48 people into that room? And the fact is that only a few people um, have come out to say, yes, this went on happened. But there was somebody present called uh, Father Walter Hallerhan. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, He was asked in an interview shortly before he died. uh, He said, no, I can't go on record. I never made an absolute statement about the things because I didn't feel I was qualified. And a lot of people said, no, we haven't. um, It wasn't. Uh, what do you call it, a demonic possession. And a lot of people think that this Robbie character, Roland Doe, as he's been uh, known as, suffered from maybe some form of schizophrenia, yeah. or if he had already a, had a mental illness, or he was abused as a child, and there was rumours he was bullied at school from like um, uh, from third-party sources. That's the, one of the frustrating things about this case. You can't get any first-party sources on it, because a lot of them have died uh, since the event happened in 1949. The, the only one you have got is she appeared on Ghost Adventures. Is she the great niece or something? Like that, yeah. Bishop? And they lived in, was it Connecticut or something? Yeah, and she wouldn't go near the house. Yeah. And she's in her late 60s now, I think. She, she's yeah getting on a bit. Um, uh, yeah, as, as Kurt was saying, the, the, the visitors supposedly witness a shaking bed, flying objects, the boy speaking in a guttural voice, I mean, most metal singers have a guttural voice, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just ask Gavin Robinson, who's a friend yeah. of ours. He can do a demonstration for us. Um, and I ex- an aversion to anything sacred, so if you mention anything about Jesus Christ or the Bible, and you get a, yeah. a reaction from that. But yeah, that, that is probably the major one that everybody knows because it was made into the 1973 film starring Linda Blair. And um, what's his name? He was in Star Wars and Shutter Island. Uh, oh, the German guy Max von Sydow. Ma, thank you. How was him? Uh, good film. Check it out. It's currently available to watch on Amazon Prime, and that's where I watched it last weekend. There's a plug for you, Amazon. Send me something free. And I watched, <laughs> and I watched it last night, and I just thought it was a messed up film. In it's general. a very messed up film. Um, there's actually facts about the film when it was premiered. Um, one of the facts was a priest apparently that had gone in to see the film. Uh-huh. Yeah. And um, on the opening night, to slipped and fell and broke his jaw. <laughs> now, read into that what you will. Oh, yeah. And that, but um, another one is, did you know, during the, you watched the film, did you know there's um, one second clip it's 
of different eerie scenes put in mm. that the naked eye can't see. No, I didn't know to that. To make the film apparently more eerie. Yeah. There's always something that you think you've seen, but you didn't see. Yeah. And, that. and apparently, yeah, it's um, throughout the film. Go on, eh? give me some tells. Go on. They, they don't tell it. All they tell, oh. all they tell. It was this, this um, very brief cutaways appear in the film in order to make the audience uneasy. Yeah. It does. And they literally one second Oh, cutaways. yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. Die. When he's in Iraq or something, don't yeah. they? At the beginning of the film, they cut. Oh, yeah. Something, yeah. something that flashes up on the screen then. Because yeah. Donny, Donny find like a demon head, like a statue yeah. at the yeah. start. Yeah. That's what I can't understand in that film, is how did that artefact end up in uh, Reagan's bedroom? Yeah. How did that get in there? And the crucifix. Yeah. How did that end up in the bedroom? And I want to explain. The version I watched on Prime didn't have the spider walk in, and I was getting about that, because I always yeah. wanted to see it. Because it originally, it wasn't in the theatrical cut. That's very creepy. Because um, the, at the time, they didn't have the technology to remove the wires. And it was only released in 2000, that was that scene, when they finally yeah, had the technology due, due to remove it. Due to controversial material, this video was not available on video in the UK until 1999. <laughs> well, it's a shock, Phil. I know. <laughs> And yeah, there's a lot of people. Uh, my mother went to see it, and she was only 15. She managed to fake her age and get in yeah. there, and apparently she had nightmares for about three days. I, d I didn't it. have nightmares. Like, this sounds sick, but like I said to you two, I found some parts, like, very funny and overreacted. It's the way you, you do now, yeah. because it's an old film. Yeah. Um, and you, you do. I mean, um, the, the Freddy Krueger film was frightening when we were in school, you know, know, but now they're hysterical. Mm. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, you do. Yeah. Looking at the case, you're never going to know if it's real. There's no one around to prove that it's you don't. real I mean, anymore. Um, you had the famous Romanian. I still can't find the name of the girl, but there was the famous Romanian case from 1936, and there was a Romanian girl who was said to be possessed. She was um, basically exactly the same as the exorcist. You know, they tied her on the bed and did the crucifix thing. She was then fine. And then a uh, six months down the line, she went off off a trot again, mm. and that and they blamed possession. And in the end, she actually ended up um, walking off a cliff. <laughs> she actually killed herself. Oh. And, uh, but you don't know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You don't. Maybe it's true or the rest of it. But to sort of stay on the the ghost thing, um, I don't know if he's actually or knows this, because I mean, obviously you've watched The Exorcist and things like that, right? Which is about possession, but. Being as most demonic sort of ghost like with the like poltergeists mm. and that. Have you ever seen that the original films, the Poltergeist? No, I haven't watched them yet. Right now the original film Poltergeist, there are some weird facts yeah. about that one. Because the little girl who actually starred in the original one actually died. Mm. And it's believed because of the film. Yeah. There was nothing but accidents on set. Yeah. Um, lights being thrown round, lights coming down off the roofs and hitting actors and all while they were filming this the guy set. To this day, they said it was just general accidents, but for me, it's way too many... It's too many... Uh, coincidences to yeah. be um, just accidents. Yeah. It is, but that's one for you to investigate. That yeah, that would be a future yeah. topic, I think, on yeah. the guys and things like that. Um, basically, exorcism, as, as such, it originated in the 15th century, as we've got the first records records even yeah. come up with that um and it, it belongs in, with the catholic church and it can only be sanctioned then um i think it's still by the vatican i think they still got to approve yeah. any exorcism um yeah that, um. the uh, a friend of mine uh kim wilshire her son is the lead singer of the guns alec yeah alec wilshire now she didn't have a possession so to speak they had a ghost problem in their house she kept seeing a victorian girl mm -hmm. dressed in victorian dress a little girl um including one story which is a little bit funny the fact that she got up one uh, night uh, about three o'clock in the morning and the her husband was fixing the toilet door so the toilet door was off mm -hmm. and she s sat on the toilet which overlooks the landing yeah and this little girl in victorian dress started walking towards her yeah and like she said she was already sat down mm. panicking <laughs> and that now that has some sort of relevance i think with with the exorcist because even though there wasn't a direct sort of exorcism there then yeah there was a lot of anger from kim towards everyone and she said that the minute she left the house she felt perfectly fine but in the house she always felt angry yeah like and always had to go to her husband and things and you know they'd sat on her talk and said you know you've been bloody daft and you just you know, perhaps, perhaps she just had one or two or something, but she said she always felt angry. Mm. So she actually called 
a priest in. Yeah. And, uh, and they um, they actually did. And, uh, well, don't know bless the place. Oh, they, they bless the place. Now, hang on her entranceway as you come through her door is a piece of cherry oak mm. that was actually sent over. It was. Right. F- um, from Italy. Yeah. And blessed. And it's put on her because again they didn't say but the two people that came in their house and blessed the house and went round um, like they do they go around with like little ball things yeah there. sense of, uh, and, thing uh, in there uh, they yeah. felt something was present mm-hmm. in the house they felt something very powerful and very present in that house and that but ever since she's been okay okay yeah. Yeah. so there's one they sort of and they like it they do but say um, that demons can attack you by um, your vulnerability so yeah. if yeah. you had a daughter that died they may yeah. um, say that they're there, yeah, and maybe, it, maybe if you know what coming. I'm saying, yeah. So yeah. that's what they say. They say that demons. Yeah, are I mean, I've seen this this piece of cherry oak, and um, the certificate that came with it, and everything that, that shows you what it is. And it is a proper mm. piece. Now they say it's from the Holy Cross, as they they tell you. Yeah, it's, they do obviously, it. it's not. It's, it's probably from a blessed cross. Yeah, it is. It's obviously from, from not the original bloody old well, cross. No, anyway, now it's old. Isn't it? It's going to be over <laughs> two thousand years old. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's really interesting, you know, when you think about what you went through and what and we sorted through it. Yeah, yeah it was very, very interesting. Yeah. And um, going back to the origins of it, uh, yeah. I've lost my place. That's I do really apologise. <laughs> I did have it, but now it's gone. Oh yeah, okay. The oldest references that can be found are from the ancient Sumerians, who believe that all diseases of the body and mind were caused by sickness demons called Gidim. Uh, priests in these nations were called Ashipu, or equivalent sorcerer then, as opposed to an Asu, which was a physician or we call a doctor. Yeah. And that's all they did was apply bandages and salves, which is like ointments and things like that. And basically there's lots of evidence in clay tablets uh, asking oh. for prayers from certain gods to protection from demons. So they put them in their house and say something like that, you know. Yeah, um, yeah there's lots, lots of theory about it. Um, and shamanic cultures as well, the shamans, shamanism. Uh, diseases are often attributed to a vengeful spirit uh, in the body of a person. Uh, they're often to be animals, people wronged by the bearer, so say you've annoyed somebody and yeah. they come back to haunt you and possess you, etc. And they dealt with it by doing sacrificial offerings. Now, when people think of sacrificial offerings, they tend to think of like humans and animals and all that. But it could be anything from plants or crosses or anything yep. to try to drive away the devil or Satan or any lesser demons or fallen angels, depending on your point. But uh, yeah, it's referenced in the Bible, etc. Um, my thoughts on exorcism are that it's, it's a Oh, open-minded open, skeptic. Yeah, open-minded and open-minded skeptic. It's, it's, it's a lot. I think a lot of it could be due to mental illness. A lot of it. And delusional. I think a lot of it is due to delusional illness. Yeah. Um, delusional being, mind. Um, what did you call it earlier? Uh, were you got different personalities? Split personality Split disorder. Split personality disorder. Um, yeah. So you, you don't know, and uh, um, I personally never ever want to find out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. It could be, it could be something just simple as like a chemical imbalance in the brain. It could be a chemical imbalance in the brain. So it like you've fallen over and knocked your head. Yeah. It could be a brain stress. Down, you know. I don't know. You, you don't know. Uh, you schizophrenia know. Uh, as well. Yeah. Okay. Things like that. Another age-long question, or no? It like is ghosts. Yeah. But my biggest thing with it is again the people that mess with Ouija boards. Yeah. And there are things that have happened on camera when they've been messing with Ouija boards. Not so much possession, but things that have gone on in a room or mm. things have moved. And I just think it's one of those things that you should stay away from, you know. It, do, it know. does make you think, oh, are these um, Satanists doing all of their rituals? And now what, yeah. what is coming out of what they're doing, isn't it? Mm. It could be anything. It could not be nothing. But you know, it's yeah. the thing, yes. Yeah, so we'll never know, really. We'll never know. Um, it's like uh, there's a lesser form of possession and channeling what some... Uh, mediums in inverted commas yeah. uh, will apparently channel the spirit of something or other to come come on through and they allow them to take over their body for a brief period I mean that's a form of possession but mm. again is it are just they, are they just you know, playing on it to make yeah. it a quick buck or play on the emotions then of a family or something like that or yeah. lost somebody in well that's what they say with demons to do in it they play on your emotions yeah if it's true 
If it's true. If it's true, that's the thing. I mean, there have also been a lot of fraudulent people found out today. Yeah. One of the biggest ones was the American guy that said, the main, the main media that said he could talk to. Yeah. Who's on about that last just <laughs> the way he asks questions to make you think mm. that they're coming through. Yeah, Darren Brown did a whole program on it, didn't he? He did, yeah, and he was quite good. He ripped he, it apart. He, he ripped it apart. He literally asked like four questions and then convinced a woman that her dead husband was talking to him. Yeah. He didn't bloody never met him. But it's, again, yeah. it's, it's, it's manipulation, you know, mm. so. Yeah, it's one of those areas which you never know for sure. What about the, um, I mean... Uh, yeah, you know, if, it, if it's fact or fiction. The Ealing. Or oh, the Enfield haunting. The Enfield Yeah, that, that's like a poltergeist thing, wasn't it? Yeah, um, um, that but, was... Uh, yeah, the rumours now that the girl made all that up. Never. Yeah, I mm. mean, all the pictures that you see, is, is a well famous picture of her <laughs> jumping off her bed. Yeah. And that's, a, that's all it looks like, it just looks like a girl has jumped, jumped off, off her bed. bed. Yeah. Um, there was but a program again, about again, it on there Sky was, there the was an original uh, one, they were month. doing, well, people were there, yeah. and they did an original interview with her, and she was supposed to be channeling this guy yeah. with a really deep voice. But again, anybody can, you know, do the, the metal voice, if you want to call yeah. it. And, uh, so, but, you know, mm. again, you don't know, is it, was it, I mean, I know The Conjuring 2 is based on the... Yeah, that's about haunted dolls and things, Yeah. It? Well, the first one was. It is so again. This you've got that possession, see? Yeah, of inanimate objects. Yeah, yeah, there, there, has, yeah. there has been two dolls. I think there's one in the museum in the states, mm. and then you've got the one that, that is literally locked behind glass. No one can go near it. And, and it, apparently, you know, take photographs of it because bad things will happen to you. And then some guy owns the other one, and is uh, yeah. a, it's part- a baby, you know? is that baby. Yeah, one? apparently, like his arm is breaking, so you got to be really yeah. careful with it. Yeah. new, and it's really yeah. old. Yeah, there was also the the eBay one. It was, uh, but that again was a woman that apparently bought. Um, oh, what are they called the bloody dolls when they want to. Voodoo dolls. Voodoo dolls. She yeah. bought a voodoo doll. Yeah. She actually bought a voodoo doll from Africa, mm-hmm. which is a really stupid idea, <laughs> considering they, they study it and uh, worship it, they, with some cultures that mm. do. And, uh, and uh, that's actually an interesting story, because she bought it for a, a, a giggle. Um, she had a couple of pieces of bad luck. And one of the most famous stories is her actually videoing the second time she sent the doll away. Mm. And the first time she sent the doll away, uh, the package got there, but no doll. Yeah. The doll wasn't in the package. And she'd gone out one day and the doll was on the bottom of her car. Mm. So, <laughs> weird. But she'd actually videotaped herself putting the doll the second time in the box. Yeah. Taping it. Yeah. Taking it to the post office and posting it away. And again, the doll appeared back in her house. Mm. So you kind of think, hmm, okay. But is there, again, trickery involved? You yeah. No. Yeah. And uh, I mean, personally, if there was a doll doing that, it'd be in national news. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Kind of like uh, Island of the Dolls as well. They say a lot of them are possessed, don't they? On the, island, that island? the Island of the Dolls. Um, it's one creepy island. It's a creepy island, but it's actually there it was actually it's actually a chap that lived on the island. Yeah, he died, didn't and he? Put the dolls up to um, something to do with a drowned girl. And it was something to do with a drowned girl. It was dolls for to play with. Yeah. He couldn't save her, could he? That's it. And, and that's all it is. He, he all the dolls that was donated. And out of the island, mm. he, he just but up. it was weird because they found him in the exact same spot that she drowned in, and he was facing head down, wasn't he? Yeah. And they say that there's some, I don't know, some ancient some fish or something killed him and then took his soul. Oh, it's it's so something far fetched. Yeah. yeah. And it's like that episode of Ghost Adventures, the one that that we just seen um, in the Zach's haunted museum before he moved in, and that that. Doll, and then they left yeah. it in the basement. I still got I'm trying to figure out how they did. It's still well, creepy, that is. That is creepy because yeah. it, it it made noises upstairs, isn't it? Yeah. And they put it downstairs, and then one technician guy, Jay, went downstairs, and the doll says in a f- female voice when it was speaking in a male voice previously. Yeah. Said, "Hello, sweetie." <laughs> really. That was creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Come through on the um, spirit box. This, um, that's probably the best episode of the season for me. Yeah, but again, is it the publicizer's museum? Yeah. That's what I want to know. Yeah. I mean, Zach, you're crazy. I would like to think they're pretty... Having all things in your, um, yeah. in your museum halls. I would like to think they're pretty audit. legit, but we'll never know what goes beyond you, behind the you, scenes. Again, again, you're going back to, like, it, the schizophrenia with the exorcist hmm. and that. The one thing you've got to realise as well, um, a lot of the places they sort of take place, um, you do have a lot of military testing hmm. going on, so you've got to account for that as well. Yeah. And that. Uh, 
because a lot of the stuff has sort of happened out in um, really 51 inch where people said they've seen UFOs yeah. and that and been abducted by aliens. There's a lot of freaking testing going on in Area 51. There's a lot of things that go out, yeah. get sprayed then, or get tested mm. that you don't know. So, it's, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, yeah, I like all things yeah. in the paranormal. You gotta um, yeah. have a clear mind, mind. and uh, you gotta be take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah, be yeah. open to the possibility. Anyway, it's like when you went to a room and you feel it's suddenly colder than the rest of the building and the yeah. rest of it. Doesn't mean it's paranormal straight away. We we've had little bits and pieces yeah. um, in the stoop that have happened, and you can't sort of you can't explain. Yeah, uh, you can't. Brush us the way of the way of the world. Yeah. So there we are. I see any more to add on exorcism and possession? I think that's it for now. Um, do we say about our new idea that Go we've ordered? Um, we finally got some t-shirts made. Yay! The Toast of Ventures. Um We were we won reveal what the logo looks like yet. Will no. we? We'll do an episode when we all get our yeah. t-shirts, and we're all excited about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be cool. And if you want to start seeing video versions of the podcast, let us know in the comments box, and we'll try and accommodate that. Um, it just means it'll be up a little bit later by the time you take it to edit it, that's all. Yeah. And we're a bit skeptical of doing it by video, so maybe yeah, 10 yeah. likes and maybe, yeah, I don't know, 100 views. We, we've done video of stuff yeah. with Creative Talk and yeah, it doesn't, got never would. So never would. Unless we're in a full blown recording studio. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You know. So if you want to see it, that yeah, I think that's the minimum criteria now 10 likes and 100 views. 100 they're not views. asking much, is it, no. really? No. And then we'll, we'll we'll consider it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So until next time, guys, we'll see you again soon. Thanks. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.